Last time, cadets, we beamed aboard the starship Aegeus for training simulations and rescue missions. This time, playing Star Trek Bridge Crew, we explore the area of space known as the Trench and join our first real crew of other players with some interesting results. players again since the last video. I've been really excited. We did the prologue last time and some training involving the Kobayashi Maru and so now it's time for the episode one of the campaign, Stormy Seas. The USS Aegeus begins exploration of the trench and discovers strange new wonders both beautiful and deadly. That sounds ominous. Now I have to remember how to use all the controls. Captain's Log, Stardate 2258.193. We believe we've identified a candidate world for Vulcan resettlement. The Governing Council for Settlements in the Trench has granted us permission to perform a survey of Silva 4 and its home system. We'll be accompanied by our science vessel USS Huxley. This is our first journey into the uninhabited regions of the Trench. We're helping the Vulcans find a new Incoming home world. Incoming message from Starfleet. Putting it on screen. Captain, I understand you're about to get underway. Before you go, I wanted to remind you that you are representing the entire United Federation of Planets out there. Thanks to the pressure. I'm counting on each of you to demonstrate our ideals to the highest possible degree. But don't worry, you have Starfleet Command's every confidence. Good luck to you and your crew. And don't. Starfleet, out. Incoming hail, on screen. Aegis, this is Captain Uku of USS Huxley. Our system checks are complete, we're ready to go. Let's warp to the silver system. So if I remember correctly, I have a warp map. And on here, we're in the Idinov system. We need to head to silver. Lining up for warp. Don't crash into the starbase. Or the Huxley. Or that war of whatever they are. Charged. The warp coils are about to discharge. Well, that's because we haven't gone the right direction yet. Come on, quickly, guys. Discharged. Looks like a Kelvin type starship, the Huxley. And punch it. Aye, aye. What's going on? I have to wait for the Huxley to arrive. Oh god. If they don't use warp, they're gonna be afraid of Analyze nearby volatile objects. USS Huxley has entered the system. Keep your distance from those distortions. One just detonated when we got close to it. Uh oh, that is not a safe distance. Oh, cool looking planet. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Featuring nebula and asteroid belt. Yes, that's it. Target selected. Launching probe. Oh, I wonder what that was for a second there. Just open fire. No, that's just your panel, Captain. It's formerly an M class planet. Silver 4 may have been inhabitable sometime in the past, but if so, something has changed it dramatically. Incoming message from Captain Uku. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. On screen. <laughs> Ignoring Uku. Captain, I've asked my science team to perform deep planetary scans on Silver 4. It'll take us a little while. If you can complete the survey of the remaining areas, we should be finished by the time you return. Understood. But it's clear we can't stay here, so... Well, we can't stay near any of those volatile distortions, whatever they are. That's, like, but why are they bothering to, like, scan the rest of the planet? Well, this is not going to become the next Vulcan no. colony. Still, we ought to do a proper survey of this system. That is our ongoing mission as Starfleet officers. Now we need to navigate through these asteroids, apparently, to get to the optimal scanning range of the cracked moon. Purple's a popular colour in this star system. I'm really glad you can follow this one. Getting a little bit stuck. It's just manoeuvring around all these holographic menus. Ah, here we are. Okay, cool. So we've gone to the crack moon. Now let's go to the nebula. Flooding course. Red luck. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh we've got fire. Can someone put out that fire? No, everyone's going to stay at their post. Right. You know, like, if you Clearly ignore it, it'll be fine. Not panicking at all. Oh, here's a nebula. Very tall boy. A lot of swirls at the top. New contact, one hostile. Space Pirate Alpha. Directly behind us, alright. Tactical, 
Engage target. Target selected. Engaging target. Shields, 50%. They're your torpedoes that we didn't fire last time. We are under attack by two unidentified vessels. Me we need too. immediate support. <laughs> All power to the shield. Not before that, this torpedo hits, I hope. We got them. Thanks for getting us back home, Aegis. I think we can take it from here. Well. That was eventful. Had a proper space battle there. I'm going to try a quick match now where I can join a game with up to three other players. And I've got my mic working. So let's start that. Checking permissions. Entering game. Everyone requires docking permission. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> Hi. Oh, Hi. Hi, Wolfblade1215. Hi. I'm not always bad. Hi. <laughs> May I just power repairs? Yeah, okay. yeah, cool. Um, so I'm this Luke, obviously, and what are we gonna play? Yeah, you can play whatever's open, whatever they don't want to play. Uh, okay, well I'll try tactical. You ready? So, Bro, I'm gonna be playing like never played before, before, so we're gonna do uh, the prologue. That's cool. Starting two two five. Done this one. one six one. Yeah, I know. My they said they were doing the first <laughs> one. Why did they design? Why? They designed the ships. What? Well, Scan the Ragusa for smuggled wildlife. Joel, move us closer. What is that? That's what you see. Look at your menu on the bottom right of your display. Not now on the far right, the bottom right where the little wheel is. You can move the wheel. And on the left, you can increase the no, the speed. <laughs> make it go up. Okay, to All right. Okay, we'll make us go forward. I'm getting some strange readings. <laughs> the left, Joel. On the left, there's like a slider. There we go. All right, guys, I'm detecting a really dumb person in the captain's seat. I'm gonna read. That, that, that's insubordination. Oh. That, that's insubordination. Why are we gonna crash into K7, guys? Okay, guys. Hang on, wait. Wait, hang on. What if I put full power to engines? Yes. Captain, I, I feel like red alert is required here. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> where, where are we in fact? <laughs> We're clipping <laughs> through the station. <laughs> Didn't we hit something? I heard that. Yeah, we, def we definitely <laughs> hit something. You don't, really, you don't take damage by hitting stations. Yeah, I'm going to activate the shields. I feel like that's speed, please. necessary here. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Open your reward menu. Okay, yeah. Okay, click Gamma Hydra. Yeah? You click it, good. And now, go back to the normal menu. You saw how this mission was supposed to go in the first video, faithful viewers, and now this is how it can go otherwise. Wait, are you recording on YouTube? Your face is brilliant. Joel, move us, rotate <laughs> our ship. So you see the thing on the screen? You look up on the screen, Joel. Why is Joel a pilot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> pilot. <laughs> move the slider up. Uh, the warp knob thing. The warp yeah, knob. Yeah, that, yeah, The warp knob. Nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a handle, Joel. Push it forward. Like you see in the movie. Oh, this thing. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Punch yeah. it. Punch it. Okay. Punch it. That's his, that's his line. <laughs> it's... Are we prepared warp? I got warp. What? Can you prepare warp? There's a button that literally says, Why do you keep one engine power higher, Kelly? Say the thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, alright, there you go. Perfect. I didn't say it. Captain! What? Captain! This person looked at me wrong! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm reporting here to HR! We've got slightly more important things to deal with here, engineer. <laughs> She's actually looking at him back, that was a good look. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, I got this. Go approach the Talon, please. So this is where the fun in this game is. <laughs> yeah. Not in doing it solo. Are we just heading directly towards this thing or what? Yes, we're trying to scan it, Joel. We struggle with the mind. Yes. No. Those are not objectives. Can you move us in the middle of the mines? I'm trying to figure out these 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm raising shields. Yeah, raise. Oh, Joel. Oh, you're too way too close. Dude, we're gonna hit it. Shields of full power. Joel, why are you walking into it? Yeah, we need to be in 30 kilometers. And Joel over here. <laughs> why did we get you all by? Explain this to me. Oh, I can get into it now. No, I can't. I don't know. I didn't see it. We're not damaged. This ship's spinning. Why are we spinning? Yeah, nice. Captain chair's empty. Yeah, they have to take over for Joel. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I leave it on four, and you still need more max power. Because it's slow if we don't have it on max. It's a four out of five. How is it slow? Dude, it's a thousand less kilometers per whatever. Well, I left it on full shields because uh, Joel exists. <laughs> <laughs> close, but <laughs> do you think we hit it? Where's Joel gone? Everything's going too smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> no offense intended, I'm just getting it on a joke. It's kind of true though. <laughs> Captain, as a Starfleet officer, I feel obligated to tell you that we are approaching the Klingon neutral zone and therefore we must not violate the treaty. That's um, a very good idea. Uh, but we might have to save someone. Oh, okay. Next he'll tell me not to violate the Prime Directive. <laughs> One mission at a time. I think we already did that, talking to Joel. <laughs> hey, it's how many years in the future and they can't figure out how to, like, clean up radio signals? <laughs> getting a little close? Why is he getting a little close? Uh -oh. Getting a little close? Smashy smashy! We can see the NCC from here and everything. Right. Target the, uh, Klingons. Fire. Firing. We did it, nice. Target destroyed. Cruiser, cruiser 3. Cruiser 3 targeted. If, the sh if, their, shield if their shields come up, lower their shields with uh, system intrusion. They're not, they're not scanned yet. I'm scanning. Can you scan them, please? Alright, don't use your phasers. Don't use your phasers. Wait for their shields to come down. Understood. You let me know when they are. Iron Killer, come on, man. What? It's an isolate seal shield frequency. Okay. I mean, this is unmittable, but still. What do you mean? Our hull is at 73%. Their hull is at 10. Yeah, they hold that one. Now they're dead. You said we lost. We did not lose them. Right? That's the end of that We didn't rescue all the survivors. Congratulations. We did? You're not, supposed to, you're not supposed to be able to rescue them But you can do better than we just. We did the best we could. Wait, who's, who's who destroyed? Like the Kobayashi Maru. Where we were, we were transporting survivors. Oh, the place we were rescuing. <laughs> yeah. I can't see straight. Like, where you guys are pointing the ship. I can't see anything. Uh, swimmingly. Well done, guys. I'm tactical, not a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that worked out surprisingly well. <laughs>